motto of the U.S. Army Psychological Operations Regiment. Military operations do not always require lethal force on the battlefield. Military information support operations can employ non-lethal actions and messages to attain military objectives. PSYOP soldiers are highly skilled, specialized operators whose work encompasses executing psychological actions in the development and dissemination of influential messages. I think the most important thing for a PSYOP soldier is to be very well-rounded. Um, it's an ability to stay centered in the environment. Trained in persuasive techniques, the PSYOP soldiers use their skills to change attitudes, behaviors, values, beliefs, and influence foreign audiences through executing actions and delivery of messages utilizing a variety of techniques. A tactical PSYOP team will usually be attached to a special forces team, and what they do is they look at what those teams are trying to do, and in order to support that, they find behaviors of the local populace that they can change to best accomplish that mission. While performing military information support operations, PSYOP soldiers conduct thorough research and analysis of the intended audience. They employ specific communication methods using a variety of techniques, technology, and mediums to develop and deliver messages which will have the greatest impact and influence. These methods often incorporate the use of state-of-the-art multimedia products that convey U.S. policy and national objectives. The PSYOP soldier is a critical component of the U.S. Army Special Operations Command. To be a successful PSYOP soldier, I think, somebody has to be dedicated, they have to be motivated, they have to be intelligent, and they have to be able to work not only in a team, but also independently and be a free member. Special Operations soldiers deploy worldwide on missions that range in size and scope, from the tactical up to the strategic level. Smaller tactical or battlefield level operations are used to secure immediate or short term goals. Strategic level operations encompass broad national security objectives during both peacetime and war. Typically, PSYOP soldiers deploy in small teams of 3 to 12 soldiers, with an average mission length of less than a year. PSYOP soldiers may be employed in an operation to support conventional forces, unconventional warfare, or counterinsurgency techniques, and in conducting raids, peacekeeping operations, evacuations, and rescue missions. When deploying, you may also assist other government agencies in support of foreign governments, humanitarian assistance, and drug interdiction. I was briefing the Minister of Security with what I thought was the best um, method for that host nation to better image of the police force at that time that was the time. PSYOP soldiers can also operate as a force multiplier, meaning they increase the operational capabilities of the military organizations they are supporting. This requires PSYOP soldiers to be versatile, agile leaders in top physical condition who are tactically and technically proficient with strong intellectual and communication skills. Be prepared for a very diverse mission site and be prepared to study more than you've ever studied before. Um, we are cultural experts and you have to be at that standard. You have to be both physically fit and mentally fit in order to be capable of to do your job. Following assessment and selection, PSYOP candidates receive extensive specialized training at the U.S. Army John F. Kennedy Special Warfare Center and School at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. I think besides only thrive in environments that are making them chaotic, just a bit of a challenge. Uh, just going to the courts itself, uh, these statements, the challenge, these tactics are just challenge, and mastering those challenges throughout the course and getting your skills and mastering those challenges throughout the course. Training includes up to 12 months of instruction in influence operations, foreign language, cultural awareness, regional studies and analysis of political, social, and economic condition for their designated area of operations. To be a PSYOP soldier, you must obtain qualifying scores on both the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery and the Defense Language Aptitude Battery. Starting out in the PSYOP community has enabled me to get a lot of free education. I've gotten my baccalaureate. I have now recently received my master's degree. I've been to many different schools. Um, that enabled me to 
Thomas Linus in Mount Ohio level. You must be eligible for a secret clearance, airborne qualified, or volunteer for airborne training. PSYOP soldiers' benefits include airborne and foreign language proficiency pay, civilian education opportunities, worldwide travel, advanced specialized training, and potential for faster promotions. Within the ranks for myself, within three months of being in the unit, I was a staff sergeant, became a team leader, and I've witnessed my peers rise to the ranks at a much quicker pace than when I was in the conventional army. The Army's most specialized experts in influencing foreign audiences, psychological operations, persuade, change, influence. 